Welcome, Team Supercharged, to our Thursday night team call. Um, I'm really excited to talk to you guys tonight, and not, not even me. My coach, Raina, <laughs> is the presenter tonight, so she will be sharing lots of tips with you guys. Um, and I first just wanted to start off the call, and I let you know that I think we're all feeling that September has been a really tough month, and it's nearing the end of the month, and it is still 110% possible for anyone to go from Success Club Zero to um, Success Club Six or more in one day. I've seen coaches on my team do it before. I've seen other coaches post about it, and they're so pumped about it. So definitely don't rule yourself out for Success Club. Um, even though it's April 28th, there's more than enough time for you to reach your goal as long as you're persistent and still go after that. Um, so Raina is going to speak to you guys tonight and give you some last minute tips to hit Success Club and to lock it in and also to help you guys kind of refocus and have an amazing, powerful, super strong May. Um, and so before she gets started talking, I just wanted to introduce her a little bit. I'm like positive that all of you guys know her. <laughs> if you don't, she is a top 10 coach from 2015. She's also a superstar diamond. She has hit Success Club 10, I believe, for three years straight in a row. And she started in April of 2013. So this is like your three-year mark, right? Yeah, it's just over a year. I know, it's so fun. Yeah, just over three years, you guys. Awesome. So she's seen amazing progress. And I think out of any coach that I know, she's like the best person to tell you guys how to lock Success Club in and then also how to refocus for next month. So feel free to take it away, Reina. Okay, yay. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I'm super excited. To, it's like I'm talking to everybody I talk to every single yeah. day. So that's <laughs> like I can yell and maybe cuss a little bit and you guys will be used to it. So it's awesome. <laughs> Um, so I, I don't need to really share my story, I don't think, so I'm just going to skip the fluff and I'm just going to kind of dig in and, and talk to you guys about what goals you have set and what you're doing right now and, you know, maybe what you could change and, and start doing. Um, I don't, I don't remember what, it wasn't, a, it was a diamond call that Emma Whaley spoke on and, um, I talked to her today and, and, and she repeated a, a, a thing that she said, a phrase that she said that she used with her team. She says, you know, people set goals. They set these big goals, um, whatever it be for, you know, Success Club 10 or for Diamond or 15 Star Diamond or whatever the case may be. Um, and they have these coaches that always fall short, right? These coaches who shoot for Success Club 10 and aren't doing what they should be doing to get there and aren't, you know, doing what they should be doing to get to Diamond. And she has a talk with them and she says either we need to reevaluate your goals and lower your goals or we need to reevaluate your actions and that really stuck with me I was like oh, you know like a slap in the face like oh my gosh it's so true like there's so many people who want these big goals and they've got these great you know ambitions of you know doing these huge things but their actions aren't showing that they want those things and so that's kind of what I want to talk to you about are your actions um, those things that you do every single day or don't do every single day that you probably should be doing as a coach who wants to move their business forward. Now, I don't know, um, you know, who I'm really talking to. I don't know if you're a bunch of emerald coaches or just coaches, not just coaches, but coaches or emeralds or diamonds or who you are. But, um, you know, I don't know what personalities you are. I don't know if you're emeralds or rubies or pearls or sapphires, but I'm just going to talk to you guys like you're rubies and sapphires just like me. Okay, if you're a pearl and I hurt your feelings, I apologize ahead of time. Um, if you're an emerald and I'm not giving you enough information, I apologize ahead of time also. So, um, rubies and pearls, I'm so excited. Um, you really have to be willing and open to working hard in your first few years as a coach. I had the conversation with my husband the other day, um, and he was like, I, you know, I was kind of at this I'm plateaued right now in my business. I'm like, what's next? You know, I'm kind of like lost. Um, and he's like, Rena, it's time to start grinding again. Like I, I grinded right for two years until through December, 2015 to hit top 10, to hit superstar diamond, to hit all these big goals. I was like face down, like blinders on, like going. And then I, you know, wake up in January and I'm like, all right, what now? Like, how do I top that? Right. And I just have to refocus. I have to start grinding again. I have to sometimes wake up early. I might have to stay up late. I might have to work, you know, while the kids are having nap time. My kids don't nap anymore, but I'm sure some of yours do. Um, 
Yeah, sorry, I was reading the chat. Um, so I'm gonna have to, you know, get uncomfortable and start working, and that's what has to happen when you have big goals that you wanna hit. So I'm gonna act like all of you wanna hit Success Club 10, I'm gonna act like all of you wanna hit Diamond, um, and we're gonna have to wake up, honestly, and just do some work, okay? If you're not ready and not willing to work, um, and, and you're more of a hobby coach, then just sit there and look pretty, okay? Everybody else, I'm ready. I want you to listen and take notes and really grind, okay? So I, I did. I hit Success Club from day one. I started April 12th, 2013. So I started halfway through the month. Um, I ended my first month at Success Club 12. Okay, so in April 2013, I hit Success Club 12. May 2013, I hit Success Club 9. Oh, it hurts so bad. I was so distracted. I had 100 different things going on, a ton of excuses. Right, so I ended May 2013 at Success Club 9. After I did that and I realized that there was a difference between 5 and 10 at Success Club, um, I never hit less than 20 ever, every single month after that. It was a complete mindset change, okay? And that's what I wanna to touch on first is your mindset. If you don't believe that you can hit Success Club, then you're not gonna hit Success Club, right? If you don't believe you're gonna hit Emerald or Diamond rank, you're not gonna hit Emerald or Diamond. If you don't believe that you can earn six figures or quit your full-time job or bring a spouse home from work, then you're not going to. You have to make sure, even though there's, what, two, three days left in the month, you have to make sure you're doing your personal development and getting your mindset right. Now, for me as a new coach, I honestly wasn't reading books. I wasn't digging into you are a badass or jab, 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 right hook. I didn't do any of that, honestly, until like two years into the business. What I did is I dug into videos, every single training video I could. I'm pretty sure I've watched every single one of Scotty Hobbs' videos. Um, I watched a ton of Lindsay Matways. I've watched all of Melanie Mitro's. Everyone that had what I wanted in the business, that's who I followed. I wasn't following, no offense, if I like had just signed Samantha, I wasn't following her for tips and advice because she was a new coach also, right? Um, so I was following people who had what I wanted. They had that freedom. They had that, you know, longevity in the business where I could aspire to be just like that. So I encourage you guys to dig into some videos. Find out who your, you know, Kate Kraft talks about your coach crush. Who's your coach crush? You need to go follow them, watch some training videos, dig in deep to what they're doing, to what they're saying, and I guarantee you, it's not gonna be things you haven't heard before because we yell all the time, right, about hitting success, about being consistent, about inviting and doing follow-ups. We talk about that all the time. Um, but I think sometimes it helps to hear it from another person um, who maybe isn't on your team or who doesn't talk to you every single day. So I encourage you guys just to get in that mindset of having that success. Visualize seeing that, you know, in your coach online office, it's saying success club five, and yes, you've qualified. Um, you have to make sure that you are in the right mindset or you won't hit this goal, okay? Um, so many people also, I want to touch on um, just the tasks that you need to be doing right now. Two days left in the month to hit Success Club. So many people I talk to, I put in these diamond, or not I put in these Success Club pushes, little threads and things like that, and they're like, you know, I added 10 people today, I'm talking to all of them. No, you aren't going to hit Success Club in two days by adding new people as friends, okay? I hate to break it to you because it sucks, I know. You are going to hit Success Success Club in two days by doing follow-ups, okay? I know it's terrifying. I know that bugging people is not what you wanna do. I know that you know talking to someone who already told you no is like the last thing on your list, okay? But you have to do it anyway. A common, common, common message that I send out to people who have already told me no is, hey girl, you know, do the whole, hey girl. Um, I know you were interested back in February when I talked to you last. I know it wasn't a great time, but I have a group starting May 6th. I think Sam's group starts May 6th. Um, and I'd love to get you plugged in. We only have a couple spots left and you're the first person I thought of. Huge fat lie, right? Huge fat lie. You thought of about 25 other people that you needed to message, but I want you to say that. And you're putting, if you can, you can tell by, you know, what I said, you're put, you're creating a sense of urgency. Okay. And you're making her feel special. And you're like, making her feel like you're still thinking about her and things like that. And so that's the kind of message you need to send to those follow-ups, to those people who said no. You need to connect with them, real, help them realize that, you know, I know it wasn't a good time for you back in the day. And I'm ready to, you know, re-invite you to this next group and hopefully now is the right time. And that's the kind of verbiage that I want you guys to use doing these follow-ups, okay? I have people that I talk to every single month. I have people, I think I showed this on the team call the other night, 
I had somebody message me um, that I sent a follow up to again, and she goes, "Well, it's been three years. I guess I should join you now, or I guess it's time to join you." And I'm like, "Brett, this chick said she's been following me for three years, and she's just now signing up, and she did. But it's been me being consistent and following up and doing my posts and." Um, you know, just being present every single day that did it. Now, if I wouldn't have stayed on her and I wouldn't have kept following up and interacting with her and checking in on her, she probably would never have signed up because she wouldn't have taken me seriously. So I want you guys to get in the habit of doing follow-ups no matter what. I want you to have that. I know some of you have that mindset of, you know, the fear of, you know, what if I offend her or what if I bug them or am I going to annoy them? Get it out of your head, okay? Who cares? No one's going to die by you sending a follow-up. No one will die, I promise, okay? So get it in your mind. Get it in your to-do list to make sure and send some follow-ups, okay? When I'm, you know, when I have the follow-up blitz on our lecture public calendar, I'm going to the very bottom of my Facebook Messenger and I'm talking to everyone. So Joe Smith from high school, I'm sending them a message, um, you know, Audrina from 2014, when I sent her an invite, I'm revisiting that conversation. I'm going through every single message in my inbox and I'm com commenting with them and contacting them um, about a group, um, about something they declined previously, whether it was a coach or a challenge group, either one, I'm talking to them about it, okay? So make sure you're doing your follow-ups. That's where the magic is gonna happen in the last two days of the month, not adding new friends. Although, I do want you to add new friends so that you set yourself up for a strong May, right? So let's do it all. You have a power hour, right? So we have these tasks that we have to do in that power hour, and both of those themes are included in that power hour. So make sure you fit it in, okay? Um, I want you to, I mean, we have sales, you know? There's a lot of sales going on this month. I got a peak of the new sales for May, but I don't even want to post them because I'm like, there's three days left. I don't want people to like start getting excited about our May sales. Uh, but challenge, the challenge packs for this month, okay, the huge one that I promote first and foremost is the club pack, the club membership or the, what's it called, club challenge pack. Um, huge, okay. When you tell people that they get access to 15 different workouts or 400 different workouts, you know, all 15 programs times five days times 80 different ab workouts, all those different ab workouts, all those different workouts in general, you tell people they get access to all of that, plus numerous meal plans based on their body type or their goals, um, plus a 30-day supply of Shakeology. People are mind blown. You know, that's a huge, huge, huge deal, and they get 90 days access to that. So take advantage of the sales that you have going on right now. Don't focus on May right now. Focus on April and finish April strong, and then you're going to have set yourself up for an awesome May. Okay, so make sure you're taking advantage of the sales. I don't, I forgot what else is on sale. Focus on the club challenge pack. I promise you, when people know that you have that much to offer for $140, you have to create the value in it. Um, but it's a really, really, really good promotion to, to start talking about. Okay, um, call to actions. I want to touch on that. I feel like this is another thing that a lot of coaches are scared to do. They're scared to say comment below, they're scared to say drop your email, they're scared to do those things. Um, but you know, you have all the followers you have now, they're seeing you doing your workouts, they're seeing you eating healthy, they're seeing you with your family, they might be seeing you, you know, at the grocery store having the freedom to be home with your kids or things like that. They may not know that you have something to offer them, okay? They may not know that you run challenge groups for people who are probably looking to lose weight. They may not know that you run training groups or your team runs training groups for people looking for financial freedom. You have to make sure you talk about these things or people are always just going to watch, okay? Make sure you're adding call to actions. And I'm challenging you guys. Somebody has a cat mustache right now. I love it. That was very distracting. I'm sorry. <laughs> Amber had the cat tail like right there. And I'm like, huh. Um, but <laughs> make sure you're doing call to action posts, okay? I challenge you guys to do one tonight. What time is it there? It's late there, isn't it? Forget tonight. Yeah, I mean, you can do that if you want to, I don't care. Because um, it's only 5.46 in California if you have people over here. Um, so make sure you do one tonight. I want you to do one tomorrow, and I want you to do one on Saturday, okay? We're going to push hard. We're going to go deep, and we're going to lock in some success club points. So I, I challenge you guys to do three call to actions from now until Saturday, okay? Saturday at midnight your time. 
that's when it all ends, okay? So I'm gonna ask you guys to grind from now till Saturday. If you have plans, work around it, all right? If you have gymnastics and cheerleading and everything like that on Saturday, you're gonna be working during that time from the audience, cheering your little gymnast on. I'm always working and I'm like, she's like, mom, did you see me? And I was like, yeah, I saw you, you look great. You know, I'm always like peeking every once in a while, but you guys have to fit these things in. It's gonna be inconvenient for a little while. It's gonna be, you know, not the first thing you think of or the first thing you wanna wake up and do sometimes. Um, but I promise you, if you wake up, put work into this business, the payout and the payoff is amazing. Okay, and the potential is just insane in it. Um, so call to actions. Follow-ups, focus on the sales, call to actions. I touched on it a little bit already, but I'll touch on it again, just to create a sense of urgency. Some of the times um, when I post posts that are like, you know, no picture, just like a paragraph saying, hey, I'm looking for, you know, 10 women to join me. I have a challenge group starting on May 6th. Um, 10 women who are looking to lose 10 to 15 pounds in 30 days. I mean, something like that. You know, you've seen them all the time. Because I actually have samples I want to read really fast. I forgot that I had it pulled up. Um, but like, um, if I could provide you with a 21 day workout program that's just 30 minutes a day and a meal plan that's easy to follow using portion control containers and tells you exactly what to eat without being hungry, um, would you be interested? Email me now, leave your email, only 10 people accept it or something like that. If that makes sense, just something super easy and small like that. There's another one that says, um, where is it? Another one that says, if I provided you with a super simple 21 day plan to help you drop a size, lose eight to 15 pounds, how serious would you be about trying it? We're talking 30 minute workouts, easy control nutrition plan, private support group for the full three weeks. Are you in? Comment below or private message me for details. I mean, those types of messages are like, they stop people, right? They're like, oh, she's doing a, a super small little private group and da, da, da. People want in things like that. And when you leave those call to actions where they can just comment below or something simple like that, they're a lot more likely to do it than if you were to have them fill out a long application and things like that. So keep that in mind for your call to actions for the next three days, okay? Just something super simple like that. Um, I wouldn't do that every single night. You might want to mix it up and maybe add in a cute little photo or something, but try it and see what happens. Um, but putting a sense of urgency on it. So saying, I only have three more spots left, or I have two more spots left, or, um, you know, Tomorrow is the last day to join, or must have must join by April first, or whatever, something like that, or May first, I guess, not April first. Um, you know, putting that sense of urgency on it. Even if you have all ten spots open in your group, you need to act like you have one spot open. Okay, make it seem like this group is like the best place to be and the hottest thing happening right now. Okay, pretend. Remind people of your next group. So when I go through my follow-ups and things like that, I am just, it's not really going to help you for April, but it'll help you kind of lead into May. I always ask, um, you know, do you want more information on this group or would you rather wait for the next one? You're kind of asking permission to follow up with them, if that makes sense. It makes it a little bit easier to follow up with people if you let them know that you're going to follow up with them. Um, or I say something sometimes like, um, I'll be in touch with you whenever we have more sales or something like that. Or I'll, I'll, you know, if you're interested in 21 Day Fix, I'm going to let you know the next time 21 Day Fix is on sale. Put notes in Asana or your paper and pen or whatever kind of tracking that you're using. But make sure you stay on them. Make sure you are present and you're reminding them of all the sales that you have going on, all the promotions that you have happening, the groups that you have happening, um, everything. One thing I would recommend doing also is maybe uh, addressing – Pre, no, that one not, that won't work yet. Actually, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna tell you to talk to old challengers, but now you can only get two points per person. So never mind. That won't work. Um, but yeah, that's. I mean, I don't know. Can I do questions? Maybe that will help. I don't know. I mean, other than that, it's like guys, you just have to kind of show up. You have to show up. You have to sit and actually do the work. You have to sit and follow up with people. You have to actually talk to people which sucks, right? <laughs> I wish they all came. I mean, even at this point in my business, people don't just, right now I need in your challenge group. Like it doesn't happen. I wish it would happen, but it doesn't happen. So I'm still constantly following up with people. My Asana is full of people to follow up with. Um, I'm still having to track all that. People aren't naturally coming like you wouldn't dream that they do. Um, 
you know, you just have to kind of put yourself out there and you have to grind. It's only three days and you have a huge goal to hit in three days. Um, but you have to remind yourself that it's doable and it's only three people, right? Make sure you have your spouse signed up. <laughs> if you don't have your spouse signed up, there's two challenge packs and then you're halfway to enroll. That's a super important step. Perfect. Does anyone have any questions? I like the plug for the, the spouse sign up too. Spouse, parent, best friend, sibling, anyone that you know, get them signed up. You know what's funny? When I, in May 2013, when I missed uh, that successful point, the one point, um, I was talking to Leslie, who's my upline coach, and she was like, Raina, you could have signed up your dog. Like, you just <laughs> need one more successful point. And I remember that like it was yesterday. She was like, it's so easy. And that was the mind, like, her acting and telling me how easy it was was what put me in that mindset of, it is easy, I just need to do the work, you know what I mean? And so I carried that mindset from month two on, you know, and just never, I, you know, I, I think I've shared it with Sam, I've shared it with some people on my team, but the fact that, I might have, sorry, I was like, something's background. Um, the fact that it's in that book, The 10X Rule. I don't know if you guys have read it or not. Um, I know Sam has it now, but if you haven't read it, you have to read that. Um, if you enjoy reading, I hope you do, um, or listen to the audio of it if you want to. But it talks about doing 10 times what normal people are doing. The successful people you see right now, you need to be doing 10 times what they're doing. Um, and it said something in there that really stuck with me also, and it said, you know, you, you're shooting for all these goals and maybe you set your goal at $100,000 a year or you set your goal at a million dollars a year. Which one would you rather fall short on, right? So setting your goal at Success Club 10 and falling short at Success Club 7 or setting your goal at two star diamond and falling short at one star, right? Having those big goals, those goals that are uncomfortable to talk about, those goals that are uncomfortable to think about, um, and especially having a timeline on it, saying, you know, in three days I need to hit success club six, forget it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit success club 10 in those three days, and I'm going to fall short at success club six or seven or eight or nine, or I'm actually going to hit 10, because you're going to put in the work that you need to be putting in to hit success club 10, if that makes sense. So... I wrote down the quote that you opened up with and I like literally put it right there. It said, if you're not hitting your goals, we need to reevaluate your goals or reevaluate your actions. I love it. It's so yeah. true. It's so true. That really stuck with me. That's, I'm presenting with Emma at Summit and we're going to talk about that as part of our, um, you know, discussion because I'm like, that's so true. There's so many people who think that, you know, they're putting in the work to get where they need to be, but it's, something's not working, right? So got to work a little bit harder or lower your goals a little bit, but that's not, that's not fun to do either. <laughs> I think also if you like just go to your page and do a, a self evaluation, because I remember at one point I felt like I was constantly, like I was posting way too much about coaching and I was posting way too much about this and doing way too many call to actions. And then I didn't invite one day and her response was, um, no, I'm not interested, but you should totally be promoting these. It sounds like an incredible like deal and an incredible opportunity. And I was like, oh, I, I do promote these to her. I said that. And then I went to my page and I scrolled down four times, saw no posts with a call to action. And then I went to my photos and I was like, okay, there's got to be a photo here of like, join me or something. No photos. And so I think it was just like, I had wanted to post about it, but I almost believed that I did, even though I didn't. And so, yeah, like having those call to actions and actually doing them, people won't know they're invited if you don't do that. So. And the thought of doing three, three days in a row might scare you, but you guys, there are billions, right? Billions of people on Facebook. So that person that might see your post tonight, isn't going to see your post on Friday or Saturday. And that person that didn't see it tonight and isn't going to see it tomorrow is going to be on Facebook Saturday afternoon scrolling and then they're going to see it. So don't feel like you're going to spam people or annoy your entire following because you're putting call to actions on three different posts, three different days. Or, you know, it's, it's different audiences every single time, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, okay, we have a question. Marissa says, I followed up with all of my people at some point this month. Would you re-follow up with someone now at the end of the same month? Question, how many people is all of your people? That's a question. <laughs> 60 to 70, so you sent 60 to 70 messages this month. Okay, 
and none of all of them said no. <laughs> what did they say? Okay, so here's the thing. If you're sending, so my rule of thumb is usually like for every 10 people that you talk to, at least one's gonna be interested, right? So you maybe had out of 70 people, you maybe had like five to seven people who were like, okay, sure, tell me more about it. What I encourage you to do at that point is send that conversation to Samantha. I want you to let her help you walk through it, okay? Because nine out of 10 times, nine out of 10 conversations, it's you, not saying you, Marissa, but the, the coach in general who is like word vomiting or effing the conversation up, okay? You're giving too much information, you're not asking the right questions, you're not creating value, and that person's not gonna be interested. So you have to make sure your conversations are on point, okay? So if you if you got through 20 conversations and they're all saying no, or they're all saying like, mm, no, not for me, I'd love you to send some conversations to Sam and help let her, like, let her look at them for you and give you some yeah, she actually did do that. And with her, it's interesting because a lot of people are saying that they're going to sign up and like she sent the link to some people and they just haven't. She has like five to 10 people that have the link that said they were going to do it and just haven't. What do you say whenever they aren't signing up? Maybe you can answer, Sam. <laughs> I don't remember what I told her to say. <laughs> I, I usually tell my coaches now, like, if they haven't signed up, what's preventing you from signing up or what's holding you back? What's your hesitation? Yeah. I mean, that's really where I would go to. And if, I mean, if they're that kind of person, because I have them too, where I send the link and I'm like the next day, hey, girls, you get set up. Hey, girls, you get set up. Same thing, you know, for like a week after. Um, at that point, I'm saying, hey, I haven't been able to connect with you. I don't know if you're interested or not. I'm going to take you off my contact list for now, but let me know if you want to talk about it in the future. That kind of, whoa, no, I don't want to be off your follow-up list. Like, don't take me off your contact list. That's what usually happens is people are like, oh, no, I'm really interested. But then, you know, they give you a date that they want to sign up or whatever. And it's a big cycle again. But at least you're letting them know that, like, hey, do you want to do this thing we're talking about or no? Um, so maybe start using that line a little bit. I usually follow up with them three times before sending that, hey, I'm going to take you off my contact list because you're not talking to me type message. Um, but yeah, keep going. <laughs> 60 to 70 is a lot, but you got to do more if they're not talking. Okay? And all of those fobs will, I think, pay off in May. Like April historically is slow. So 60 to 70 next month will might be 70 or 70, uh, seven challenge packs, you know. So if you're, what I would do, honestly, is I would try to get to 100 conversations or 100 invites this month and then I would do 100 invites next month and 100 the next month and you're going to start having that compound effect of people that are like okay I'm ready now and you're going to consistently be hitting you know, 10 every single month at least because you have a huge funnel of people to talk to you know what I mean dig deep this month you get three more days dig deep on them. if people have seen your message now is the time to be like hey girl I know you saw my message and I got one spot left do you want in or no you know what I mean? Giving that, like, or no, or do you want to wait for the next group, kind of makes them answer and say, I'll just wait for the next group. At least they're not, you know, at least they're just answering. You know what I mean? Not just being out there in la la land. So I use that line a lot, too. Um, we have another question from Nikki saying, how do you keep up, how do you keep coming up with new post ideas? I feel like I'm not very inspired and, all, and feel like I keep posting the same old crap. There's nothing wrong with the same old crap. I actually today, I was scrolling through my Instagram and I was like, I don't, this is so silly and I probably sound conceited when I say this, but I looked at Brett and I was like, God, I love my Instagram. And I go, I just go to it and I'm like, I'm, I'm inspired. I literally said this to Brett and I was like, it's just visually attractive. Like, I love it. So if you go to my page or my Instagram, it's like a workout video every morning, right? Usually at least one picture of food every single day. Um, the other picture I've been doing these, like, you can go look at my Instagram and there's like pictures with white pictures with black font is what I've been doing. Um, I mean, it's the same thing all the time or a selfie with a fun quote or a graphic t-shirt or something. I mean, it's the same thing all the time. Consistency is key, but when you're working out every single day, you're eating right every single day and you have results to show, whether it's, you know, physical, mental, or 
financial results to show, people are going to start asking questions. So you have to jab, 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 jab the crap out of people and then throw them a right hook every now and then. Okay? Read that book. Yeah, I was just going to say, that would be a great book for anyone that needs help with knowing what to post. Effective posts. Jab, 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 right hook. Yeah. Um, Emily says, Marissa, oh, to Marissa, I've had five participants say they would and then not reply to anything also. Yeah, same feedback. It happens. it happens, guys. I can't tell you how many people I have say, yeah, send me the link. I send them a link and then nothing. I'm sending four more follow-ups right after that, right? Every single month. It happens. You have to almost develop this thick skin to that, okay? Know that, like, I used to get excited when people signed up. I used to be like, Brett, I signed another coach. Like, I signed another coach. And then, like, now Brett's like, let me know when they hit success month. Like, you know what I mean? Like, people say they want to sign up. People want to jump in the business and have this exciting, huge, phenomenal life. People want to, you know, achieve rank advancements and things like that. But people wanting to and people doing it are two different things. So, you know, and again, making sure to follow up. Because if you sent a link and then, you just don't follow up with them because they never signed up and you're too embarrassed. Um, you know, they could have got distracted. They could have had to step away to make dinner. The baby could have started crying and then they got distracted and just totally forgot about your conversation. Those things happen. So every time I send a link, I'm going to their name and my follow-up list and I'm putting it in my calendar and it's on it to follow up with them the next day. So if I'm doing follow-ups tonight, which I will be doing, and I send a link, I'm putting a follow-up for the next day for that person. I'm going to say, hey, girl, did you get signed up? Even though I know they didn't get signed up, I'm still asking just to say, hey, I'm still here, like waiting for you to sign up um, and see what they say. They don't answer, follow up the next day. Hey, I didn't see you get signed up. I wanted to make sure we did it correctly so I didn't miss you. Let me know, right? Again, maybe a few days later. Hey, did you want to sign up for the group? You know what I mean? Like you have to keep staying on top of them. They're not going to get annoyed. They're going to appreciate the fact that you're staying on top of them, that you're thinking about them, and that you want to get them plugged into this group or coaching or whatever it is that you're offering, okay? Perfect. Yeah. Huge. Huge mentioned she just posted something and now has locked in, or will lock in Success Club. She has somebody signing up tonight. Okay, don't get excited though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, go send five more links and then get excited. Yeah, okay. don't, if any of you guys have like, one to two people that you're relying on, invite five to 10 more people. Never, never rely on people, unless it's like your spouse, you know, that's guaranteed, but. Unless it's coming out of your bank account. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so if you guys have more questions, post them there, but one last question for Raina, uh, at least for me, is do you have any tips or words of wisdom starting May 1st? Like what should our focus be or what should our mindset be? What, what tips do you have for that? My biggest tip would be take the mindset that you have right now on the 28th of the month and do that May 1st through May, how many days? April, June, 30 days in September, April, June, and November 31, May 31st. <laughs> um, the 1st to the 31st, you need to put in the same effort that you're putting in now through the 30th of April and 30, yeah, however many days to the end of the month. You have to have that same mindset, that same I gotta get it, I gotta get it, I gotta get it, until you get it, right? Shoot for 10. Once you hit Success Club 10, and it's like the sixth of the month, <whistles> add a ton of people and start a bunch of conversations. The weight is literally off your shoulders. If you wanna shoot for 20, go for 20. But the earlier you're able to lock in a Success Club, the less stress you're gonna have in this business. Nobody wants to be a coach and have stress. Like, it's the worst thing in the world, right? You're like, that's how a coaching score, if you're a staff buyer, like, I thought this was fun. Like, it kinda takes all the joy out of, coaching, you know, when you're having to push for numbers, numbers, numbers. But if you take that mindset and that, that attitude and that want for success straight out of the gate in May versus waiting until the 28th, which so many coaches do, this business is so much easier. It really is. The first of May is like a clean slate. It is like your time to rise and grind, right? And do not stop until you have your goal locked in and then still don't stop. Then keep going and then start forming the crap out of people every single day. I'm telling you, the more consistent you are with this, the whole wake up, work, go to bed, wake up, work, go to bed, the more consistent you are with it, the more, it doesn't get easier, I don't think, it just gets different, right? You're going to start to have Success Club 
um, you know, challengers turning into coaches. You, the more successful points you have, the more potential you have to actually grow and rank advancements in this business. Um, I remember when I started out coaching, like all of my paychecks, all of my paychecks were retail, right? They were just successful points, successful points, successful points. That's all it was for like probably the first year of the business was just retail. I didn't really build a strong team cycle bonus until later on. But what happened is my consistency with hitting no less than success club 20 a month built strong challengers, right? That led into strong coaches and that led into people who fell in love with this business just like I had Sam, right? And that's what builds your team cycle bonus. That's what builds the longevity and the residual income in this business is building a team. So start with success club, get those people to fall in love with what you're doing and the rest is going to fall into place. But success club has to be your non-negotiable every single month, no matter what. I love Josh. it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm so much more inspired. I mean, I'm at success club 12 and I'm like, no, I'm going to get 30 by the end of these three. Days. <laughs> All right, you guys, I don't think there's any more questions. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys took a lot of tips from Marina. I have heard these things before, but I even took them more tips and more notes and stuff. Um, that you have to, you can't just hear Raina feel super inspired tonight and super inspired at 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. in the morning and then just not do anything. You have to take what she said, all of these tips, and actually put them into action. That's what will help you hit success club this month and next month and help you with your posts and all of that. So take action on what you heard Raina say tonight and do it consistently, and that's what will change your business. So thank you so much, Raina, for being my coach and guiding me this way <laughs> and, for the opportunity and for sharing everything. I honestly think you have so many good tips and you have so much knowledge to share with everyone. So I appreciate you hopping on. Oh, you're welcome. I hope it helped. Yeah, it definitely did. Thank you guys for hopping on. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.